His work changed our view of the world and turned conventional thinking on its head. Gerd Binnig helped open up the incredibly tiny universe of atoms and molecules. At first, no one believed it would ever be possible to make individual atoms visible. But then a new method developed by Binnick straddled the border between physics and chemistry. Clean chemistry is all the rage nowadays. Everyone wants that. No toxins. That's the direction that chemistry is headed in. The important thing is to observe chemical processes so as to better understand what's actually going on, so you can then make the right decisions. This is the instrument Binnig and his colleague Heinrich Rohrer developed in the early 1980s, the scanning tunneling microscope. Its secret is an exceedingly thin tip, just one atom wide, that scans the surface of a sample, detecting the contours of each individual atom. When we saw atoms for the first time with the microscope, it was an overwhelming moment. I realized it was something completely different, the beginning of a whole new era for physicists, for humankind, and also for myself. I knew I would never experience a moment like that again, at least as far as science was concerned. It was a breakthrough. But soon the new technology was not just about imaging the atoms. Before long, the researchers were also able to use the force of the tip as a tool to manipulate them, shifting them around and even lifting them up. The night we saw atoms for the first time, I was alone in the lab, and I was the first to play around with them. I tried to manipulate them right from the start. That pioneering work has enabled chemists to develop materials with entirely new properties, like materials that are scratch-resistant, that repel dirt, or that act as flame retardants. It was all made possible by the researchers for Ray into the nanocosmos of atoms and molecules. It's all about molecules that do something with each other, nanoparticles, these tiny particles that interact with one another. Actually, to be accurate, chemistry is nanotechnology. When he started his work, Binning had little idea what the world of nanoparticles would look like and whether the team would ever reach it. But their creativity and perseverance were crowned by success and the Nobel Prize.